Senator John Kennedy, Judiciary Committee member. Senator, can you believe what's happening in our own neighborhood here in North America? Well, Justin, let me, let me uh, say a word first about Canada, um, and I want to make it clear. I support peaceful protests. I don't support breaking the law. But what I think we're seeing in Canada is the uh, tyranny of the managerial elite over the working class majority. Um, I, I don't know Prime Minister Trudeau. I'm sure he is a, a warm and loving human being, but his leadership has been underwhelming. He's misjudged the situation. Uh, as to the truckers, I, their protests are not about the vaccine. Most of them are already vaccinated. Here's what I hear the truckers saying. They're saying, look, Mr. Prime Minister, we've been through two years of pandemic restrictions. Uh, our lives have been turned upside down. Our livelihoods have been threatened. Our, our kids have lost months, maybe years from their education. You say follow the science, Mr. Prime Minister. Let's follow the science. We look around, we, we see the Omicron variant, its virulence waning. Most of us are have immunity, we're either natural or we're vaccinated. So what, Mr. Prime Minister, is your roadmap for getting government off our backs and allowing us to get back to normal? Now, um, here's the Prime Minister's response. Uh, and instead of saying, fair question, let's sit down and talk about it, his plan for convincing the truckers that they are wrong is by saying, you're a bunch of stupid idiots. Here's what I hear the prime minister saying to the truckers. Look, truckers, um, I'm smart. You're not. I'm educated. You're not. Um, I drink uh, caramel frappuccinos. You don't. I eat bacon-wrapped dates and tuna tartare. <laughs> you don't even know what that is. So sit down and shut up. And, you know, the trucker's response to the prime minister, well, it's predictable as well. They're bowing up. Now, I, I would gently say to the prime minister, how can I put it? If, if you're going to be a smart ass, first you have to be smart. Otherwise, <laughs> you're, otherwise you're just an ass. And, and I think he needs to recalibrate and realize what this is all about. If he's eating those bacon wrapped dates, he has to know they're coming from the truckers. Those things don't just grow naturally on trees in Canada. They have to get there by the very people he's treating as terrorists. Now, as a sitting U.S. Senator, you got the neighbor to our north, our biggest trade partner, basically using terror laws to freeze bank accounts for people that are just sitting down on a road. Are you scared where this is going? These are supposed to be our friendly Canadian neighbors, right? The most polite people in the world. Do you like where this is going? No. Uh, and, and I think the Prime Minister, look, I love Canadians. I love Canada. They, they're great allies. And in my judgment, I, I think the, the Prime Minister is totally overreacting. I mean, he's hitting a gnat with a sledgehammer. I don't think he's even met with the truckers. Nope. And I don't think he really understands that this, as one commentator put it, th this by the truckers is a primal scream of frustration. It's not about the vaccines. And they have a point. Uh, it, I would ask the same question of, of, of Mr. Trudeau and President Biden. What is your roadmap to normalcy? I mean, we, we, you say follow the science? Okay. The virulence of the, the, uh, the, the Omicron is waning. Uh, we're all immunized, either naturally or through vaccines. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's, our, what's our roadmap? back to normal. When is government going to get off of our backs? And those are fair questions. Fair questions. And we're hearing a lot of primal screams from parents, from truckers, yeah. a lot of people all across the world, not just here, across the world. And you can't respond to that with force. Got to listen. Thank you, Senator Kennedy, as always. Thank you.